Carol Vorderman might be best known for Countdown, but she was also a particularly strong singer in a girl group back in the 1980s, just two years after the launch of the Channel 4 program. Mischievous Carol, now 62, was said to be a hard partier in those days, with a former bandmate claiming that police were often called to the property they shared after long-suffering neighbors decided they'd had enough of the noise. The ex-countdown mathematician, dolled up in baby blue eyeshadow and a bright red suit, can scarcely be recognized in an unearthed photo of herself with her two fellow singers hoping to take the charts by storm. However, in a 2010 feature written by radio broadcaster Liz Kershaw for the Daily Mail, she also unveiled the secrets of her former co-star's early life. The pair, together with another hopeful, Lindsay Forrest, had formed a group called Don Chorus and the Blue Tits, and they had their hearts set on global fame. Although the group might not ring any bells with modern music fans today, back in the 1980s the trio released three singles and even recorded material for an episode of John Peel's show on BBC Radio 1. They were signed to Stiff Records, a label which had also prided itself on discovering Elvis Costello and Ian Dury back in the day. The trademark red suits seen on the musical threesome in the photo were all thanks to Carol, whose appearances on Countdown had apparently attracted an admirer who happened to be a clothing manufacturer. Their signature wardrobe was created, and Carol added her own personal flavor to it, according to Liz, thanks to her coffee-colored leather trousers and spiky blonde streaked hair. Carol's favorite pair of trousers had cost £50, a jaw-dropping price to pay for the era, but her mum had deemed them a good investment. Meanwhile, Liz also recalled one particularly memorable moment with her, playfully joking, a party was deemed to be a flop if a member of the West Yorkshire Constabulary didn't attend. On one occasion, she, Carol and some other girls were screaming along to Scylla Black blasting out of our pink jukebox. She joked that the policeman who attended to investigate noise complaints was stared quickly into the kitchen, given a large scotch and a snog, and ended up becoming her boyfriend. Liz revealed that it is still possible to find the group's old singles being flogged on eBay from time to time. Meanwhile, despite warnings from her former boss that the group's outfits and lifestyle were going to look very silly when they hit 50, Kara Luzant toned it down an inch, and is renowned today for her age-defying looks.